Hey everybody, it's Blue Toad and welcome back to Kirby's Epic Yarn. Now we're going to continue in Spaceland. So let's go, by throwing this patch. Mysterious UFO. Also, that was really cool, saving. That was just, just so cool, all these platforms are here now, just, just the whole, it brought down the sky. That's a good thing, right? Anyway, let's go into the level. <laughs> Actually, I think this is a pretty, pretty cool level. All of the space land levels are cool. Space is cool. I love space. Space. So, oh, hello. Get rid of you. Let's activate that. And now there's low gravity, also that doesn't turn off. Or maybe it does, but not automatically. This is this is cool, so. Or maybe it, I don't know, maybe it does. Have to wait a second to find out, for sure. But I'm pretty sure there's just lots of anti-gravity here. Or low gravity. Also, is gravity the force, is gravity a force or is it something being pulled into something else? I don't know, anyway. Let's go up this way. See if we can get that star over there. It's a little bit slow going like this, but also this is how it should be. Oh, I see. We can't break those with our ground pound when there's low gravity because we weigh, we weigh less, technically. So let's activate that. Get rid of all the things here. And now... Pro was a mistake to go this fast, but I can also just grab these beads and then go back down here and do this, so let's do that. I don't think I missed anything. Just gonna make sure. I don't know if there's anything up there. I'm gonna Oh, I probably shouldn't assume not. Why? Well, it would be yeah, it's probably fine. <laughs> I I can't be bothered going to one of those switches to change it back to the other gravity. So let's go down this way. Ooh. Hang on. What way? Oh there's a platform. Okay. Need to be careful. Something I only do most of the time. I mean, <laughs> uh, some sometimes. Uh, I wish it was most of the time. <laughs> okay, good, good. Let's wait for the platforms. This is this is cool though. That we're in here. Okay, so we're now down here. We can activate that. Whoa, floating. Okay, grab all these beads. Also, can I by any chance head back this way? I don't think so. Yeah. Unless maybe. Nope. Oh well. We can go up this way now, since we can go at full speed. Have to be careful of the wall the wall do's in the wall, because they can't we can't take them out. Um Okay, there's the two. Two star. This is cool using gravity like this. Okay, so that's the way to go that way. So let's go up this way. And I think we don't want to destroy those blocks. Or at least not all of them. I want to go up here. Please. Just stay up there. Okay, activate that. And now we've got all these beads to collect. Which are a little bit t difficult to see. With this background. I'm assuming they're also going to disappear at some point, so I need to be quick. Grab all these. That I can. Also, they're not really disappearing, so I think we're good. Oh, I can't break that. I forgot I forgot I can't break those. Not without whipping them, at least, or turning off the gravity. Let's flip that. Okay. That's cool that they're doing different things with stuff. Okay, where's this going? It's going this way. Gonna hit this again. If I can, please. Thank you. And let's go up this way. Try to catch up to the thing. No, go back up. Don't. Ah! Gravity, why? Hang on. It just now reached its location that I was aiming for. So it's probably uh, gonna take me a second to catch up to it. Especially if I fall down. But it's, it's just so floaty. Oh, we can turn that off. Cool. I don't know if we want to turn it off, but we can. 
Actually, I think we do. Space food. These are re uh, replicas of real astronaut food. Space chefs must really must be really dry people. Oh, okay. Well, let's go over here then and get these beads that I didn't get because I was trying to catch up to the thing. So maybe I don't need to worry about the gravity anymore? Yeah, because we need to be able to ground pad through these blocks. Right, cool. Let's do that then. Very nice. And I think we want to turn it on again. Just like that. This reminds me of Metroid. So I want those. Oh my goodness, this platform is going to go away very quickly if I'm not careful. Got all the beads. Hooah! That was close. <laughs> it's all fine. It's all fine. It's so fine. I'll just grab everything here. Get off here. And I will need one of these so I can break that block. Once I get down to the ground. So let's grab that. I love how high I can jump. Okay, down we go. Grab the three star. I do want that. So let's grab that. Oh, so what's with that area there? Is there something? Surely there's something up here. Oh, hello. Oh, interesting. Is that how you're supposed to do that? That's really cool if you're the, that's the way you're supposed to do that. Theme from Spaceland. Okay, then. I think we have heard this song before or so. But that's so cool. That you have to, you, you have to whip them so you can pull, pull yourself up a little bit. Okay, so we need to go around to turn that off. Probably a bad idea to just ground pound randomly without being able to see where I'm going. That's fine. Let's go down, I think. I need something to break that open. Which I can do by taking this guy. Okay. Drop that down. Yep. Put that. Grab that, please. Get down. Get down. Quick, quick, quick. Okay, good. We're good. <laughs> we're good. Oh, don't go up, though. <laughs> don't go up too fast. Okay, we're good. We're good. Okay, where to now? Let's go... I'll have to just rotate this a few times. Probably to like that. I like how we pull ourselves just right into the perfect position for some reason. Okay, so now we have to do this again. Except that now we have proper gravity, we can just go over this way. Oh, hello. Is this something, or is this just a way back? That's just a way back. So let's break this to now. And keep going. Although I think this is the end, so... We get everything? Nope, we missed the first object. I wonder where it could possibly be. That was a cool level, though. I like that. Spaceland probably is going to be my favorite world. Gold three stars. Two out of three. Almost there. And we found the twinkling star patch. Kirby, are you going to come over? Oh, it's gone. <laughs> okay, then. If that's the way it's going to be, let's throw this. How do I- how do I remember the names of these levels? My brain just keeps telling me them. Just before they appear, like, still away. I was like, I wasn't even sure if that was going to be correct, but apparently it was. Okay then, let's go back into your phone and find the first treasure, because I missed that, apparently. And I think it's probably where- exactly where I'm- I suspected it would be. Oh my goodness, it's right here at the very beginning. I didn't bother checking, and I should have checked it. It's fine. Also, this is a cool, like, front of the ship or something. Communicator. You can talk to aliens on this. Just be sure that you can afford afford the coal charges. Oh boy. You better be able to. So there we go. Went through the level again to make sure it, that I keep it. I'm pretty sure you, you have to complete the level to keep whatever treasures you 
cl you collect, so... Even if I'm wrong, just to make sure, I'll play it through anyway and I get more beads for it, so... And I might actually max out the counter at some point in my life. Probably not, though. I need a lot more beads to max out that counter. Although we seem to be getting beads a lot faster than we used to. But anyway now, let's go into the next level, which is really cool. Also, the, the other levels that we haven't even locked yet are also going to be pretty cool. Es especially after we beat the boss, but let's go into Stellar Way. And this is just... crazy. This is just crazy. That's all I have to say, basically. Well, no, I have a lot to say. <laughs> I probably shouldn't just say that, that that's all I have to say, because I have a lot to say about enjoying things. I, I, I enjoy myself. So we have all these platforms and all that, that are spinning around with beads and all that. But also, once we get a little bit further in, some more interesting things will happen. Probably gonna want to avoid touching that thing though. Oh my goodness. I, li I like- <laughs> I like this. If you couldn't tell, there's the two star. Careful. So I like the, the, the design of these planets. Okay, take those. Okay, so over here we have meteors just falling from the sky. We can't destroy them. Not in any normal way, at least. I probably should have tried taking that, but I didn't, and it's fine, because I can take you out, and it's fine. But if we hit this over here, we have an activator, which turns all the meteors into uh, beads. Which is so cool. I like this. But it's only for a small amount of time before they start dropping meteors again, so... Collect as many as you can. Careful not to get hit by the enemy. Okay, back to normal, okay. Well, it was good. Well, it lasted. And I don't think it's the only time that happens in the level as well, so... That's also cool. Oh my goodness, we get to swing <laughs> in the gravity. Grab all these beads, just like this. Wonderful. I like that the beads, well, the buttons have wings on them. Let's grab this star as well. And up we go. Very nice. Into this planet, apparently. Now I have to use these to get around. Just gonna grab you so I can deal with everything else. Oh boy. You're gonna make trouble for me. You're gonna make a lot of trouble. That's fine. Let me take you out and grab all these beads over here. Very nice. I have to backtrack a little bit to make sure I get around. Just because I fell down. Okay, up. I want to go this way. But I don't know if I can. Not like that at least. So let me try going this way. Okay, there's an, uh, there's an upper path over there, but I don't know. That might be just the way we end up eventually, so I might just try going this way instead. Maybe? I'm not entirely sure. It's gonna be fine. Let me just grab these beads as well. Oh, hello. I'll take you. Oh, this is an actual platform. I thought it was, uh, just like, I don't know. Just something to hold the planets there. But no, that's an actual thing we can stand on top of. Which is good because it means we can get up to there. But I think, possibly, might be able to swing up there? No, I probably just need to stay on the planets. So let's go up this way. Well, I think this is also where we're supposed to go. I hope I'm not missing something. Hang on. What's up here? I, th I feel like this is something secret. Yep, three stars. Very nice. Is that something up there? No. I'm just crazy and trying to find all the secrets. So let's go down here. I think this will loop back to where we saw the other platform and all that. Okay. Oh wow, this is actually the optional path, I guess. Kind of? Theme from Stellar Way, very nice. Now let's float down this way. So we can actually go over here. I guess it's kind of both. A secret and- Hang on! Now I'm getting confused. How is there two treasure chests right next to each other like that? Star Lily. This lollipop is imbued with the power of stars. It has a very intense flavor. I guess I was probably just supposed to get this before going to the other one. 
and that was just the easy way to do that, I guess. Or something. I don't know. But anyway. Let's figure out where we're actually supposed to go then. Right over here, apparently. Works for me. Let me see if I can get some beads. This is probably not the optimal way to get beads. That's okay. There's also stuff down there that I think I probably want to check out as well. But I need to be very careful not to fall off of this. There's also stuff inside the planet. Do I want to go for it? I'm probably just going to go for it. I missed the bead up there though. That's fine. I can do that. More beads. No, that one. No, it's fine. <laughs> I'm just gonna go down here. And hopefully not fall into the death. Because then I'd lose a lot of beads. Let's grab that secret treasure. Rocket bed. Sleeping in this bed may cause dreams of being a space case. Okay then. I think we can just go up this way then. Do we need to go? We've already got enough beads, so. Oh, hello! That was close. That was a very. Very good turnaround. Just need to be very careful. They usually fall in the same spots, I'm pretty sure, so. Which helps. Oh, hello. Hello, hello, hello. Let's activate that. Turn them all to beads. Let's see how many I can get. Also, if they spawn on top of the, the stars that are spinning, that makes it very difficult to collect them because they're going to fall, fall off, so. I mean, I don't even need this many beads at this point, so. Uh, this, is, this is just cool. I think that's all of them, probably. Yep. Don't. Okay, we're good. <laughs> we're good. We're good. We're good. Just need to stay alive a little bit longer. Gonna get these tiny beads, even though I don't need them. Okay, good. Now, where are we? Ooh, hello. This is good. A new transformation. One that I appreciate a lot. We got this rocket ship. And now we have also the one button where if we tap it, shoots in three directions. And if we hold it down, shoots quickly and just above you. And we can take out anything with our shots. And beads will be pulled towards us if we're near them, so. This is really cool. I like, I, this is probably my favorite transformation that you have in the game. Try to hit everything as much as possible. The last one, if you get them all, I believe, like when they're a string of them, if you get them all, they'll usually drop a bigger bead than the rest. Careful not to get hit. I'm gonna just have to leave that bead down there. This is so cool, though. It's a shame it's so far into the game, and so if you didn't play this far, you'd not see it, but... I don't know, if you're gonna play this game, you probably wanna commit to it. It's not extremely long, but it is a lot of fun, so... Grab all that, very nice. Review, please. Thank you. Get rid of that guy who has the projectiles. Very nice. Might even be worth using my strong attack. No way, beads! Okay, nice. Let's see if I can get to the other side quickly. Nope, it's gone. We don't have a ton of time to actually just do all this, so we do need to be somewhat quick. Need to be on the ball. I'm just sad about my bead combo now. Oh, that's a lot of them. <laughs> I mean, a, be a, bead, a bead combo is going up pretty fast. But anyway, that's the end of the level. And apparently, I missed the five star, but that's okay. Because I've got plenty of beads anyway, so. I mean, it's still satisfying to get the five star, though. But I think with that, now that we have completed this level, I think it is time for the boss with the switch patch. And this is the boss that you may or may not have been expecting, saving. Let's throw it. Meta Knight. I kind of wish that they didn't say the name of the boss 
outside of the level and like didn't show the preview of the boss and like set it when it, the boss appears but it's fine let's go in Let's go. I hope you like Zelda Four Swords because this is kind of what it reminds me of. Kind of. I mean, this is this. That's that's what this this reminds me of. Okay, run away. Meta Knight has a a sword that he has to slash at us, but he can also throw beams at us, and we can actually use these beams to actually hit him and try to get some beads and also do some damage. Okay, I need to do a lot better than this. I'm really doing terrible right now. Need to be careful. Give me a beam. Give me a beam. Nope, that's not where I need it. Maybe if I stand in, on a platform or something. No, maybe not. If he lands next to you, he's gonna slash at you. So you need to be careful. Why? I, well, I was... I was... Silly D-pad. Poor. D-pad, why? Okay, give me a beam. Get into position and let's hit you. Of course he slashed at it. It's a good thing I don't have any beads right now, but I would also like to do some damage on the boss. Oh my goodness, please. Please, just let me, let me have something. Okay, good. Get on my left, no, no, I need this. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Okay, hang on, hang on, hang on. Can you come down here, please? Thank you. Let's throw it at you now, and let's take that out. He doesn't have his sword anymore. But also, there's another three more to go. Hence the Four Swords thing. Also, I believe that they're the right colours as well. He has different attacks now, so he's got these homing blue ones that we need to be careful of. But there we go, another sword down. I struggled so much with the first phase, if you couldn't tell by me finishing that phase so fast. Purple Sword. I believe he has another attack now where you can slash a lot of the screen in one go. Oh my goodness, get away. Okay, give me a beam. Okay, do that. You can also stab downward. So you need to be careful of that. There we go. Another sword down. Last one. We also have gold. Just need the, the patch. There we go. We have everything we need. Now red. Get away. He's spawned in tornadoes. Which will pick us up and put us into the spikes. Hang on, that's rude. Hang on, that's very rude. Can I... Can I not? Okay, he has a good lot of good attacks now. Give me a beam. I think there's... I think if you just like stand here... Yeah, if you stand on the very edge of the screen, you don't get hit by his tornadoes. Okay, hit him and finish him. Very nice. That's actually a really cool boss. And it wasn't as hard as I remembered, so... I might have been thinking about Kirby's Adventure. Also have Meta Knight's theme, and the satellite patch. We did it! We got a piece of the magic yarn. The magic yarn shimmered and spiraled and swirled high into the sky. And Patchland was stitched back together, thanks to Kirby and Prince Fluff. Thanks, Kirby. I couldn't have done it without your help. Kirby and Prince Fluff jumped for joy, but their celebration was cut short when Meta Knight awoke. Kirby, forgive me. I blame the yarn. Meta Knight explained to Kirby that Yin Yarn was taking over Dreamland. This upset Kirby immensely. He had no idea how to get back to Dreamland. I've got it, Fluff declared. Prince Fluff pulled out a sock, just like the one Yin Yarn had stolen from Patch Castle. 
Socks always come in pairs. And now that Patchland was stitched back together, the other sock's magic had been restored. Be careful, Kirby. Yin Yarn is one mean piece of string. He'll be fine. After all, I'm going with him, Fluff said. And they all set out for Dreamland to button up Yin Yarn's story once and for all. So now we've made it to Dreamland, the next world. Also shows you what extra patches you have underneath your beads over there. I didn't know that was a thing because I'd never checked that. But that, that's the silliest reason for going getting here with the socks, have coming in pairs. But also I think it's funny. We can go back and forth by tapping up on this sock, which is also, once we go back to Cruelty Square, is also at Patch Castle now, on the upper, le upper level, so. And also, if we go to the map screen so we can switch between all the worlds now and go back and forth, we can also press up to go to Dreamland directly, so that's also quite helpful. So let's, uh, actually, let's stay in Quilty Square for a second, because let's go and do the uh, final flat. Since we've finished up well, we haven't quite finished up Spaceland either. I need to do that as well. I forgot about that. I don't know how, but anyway. Let's put this in, please. It'd be a shame to forget about the last levels in Spaceland because they're the best ones. Uh, all the way over here. Let's put this in. There we go. Well, and how is everything progressing here, Lord Kirby? Are you finished? Oh my, this is such a perfectly decorated room. My name is Mara, and I'll take it. That was the shortest explanation of a person moving in so far. Anyway, let's go to Mara's race, Patch Castle. Race to the finish line first. I have a feeling that I'm going to dread this. I have, I have a feeling that this is going to end badly, especially when the, we go into the harder levels. Oh boy, here we go. Race to the finish line first. This is what I was born for. Oh, you're fast. Ah, now we have a thing on the top of the screen to show where we are in comparison as well. To the person we're racing. Up we go. Don't even need to worry about beads. I probably should have gone through uh, up the ladder and then just gone like car mode across here. It's fine. We've, we're, we're way ahead right now. But also, I'm I'm sure it's going to get much harder. Also, remember when we came to Patch Castle the first time? That's crazy. <laughs> At this point. Anyway, there we go. Very nice. Oh, it looks like a brand new ra racing stage has opened up. Come on. Well, not right now, please. I'm I'm busy. Oh, well, good for you, I suppose. I'll have to try harder next time, but here's something for you, Kirby. And we get... The Twirling Cross Fabric. We need to have a rematch sometime. Next time, I won't take it so easy on you. I imagine that is the that, that is true, probably. <laughs> I, I, I imagine that I'm going to have a... An interesting time with that. But anyway, that is it for now. So thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time.